in a few minutes time cars will be getting underway for the second semi-final for the Formula 1 stocks here at Hartlepool good drive line up Wayman top scorer on pole position now for the start of the semi-final second semi-final for the the Warriors uh, about to give it some stick good line up for the first three cars there that's very good should be plenty of action in this even though it is a wet race Give it some well a large, some well large. There'll either be complete carnage at the start of this race or women junior will get suffering in front of this first car and uh, it's just a complete joke. Anyway, we can but uh, wait and find out. And no, uh, you're not on the film, you stupid little idiot. Stop trying to put your hand out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So pace beginning to slightly pick up now at the front here. Track is drying out in patches though, it might be just drying up for a good race. So pace beginning to pick up. Andy Smith's got a good paint job on his helmet. Okay, so Faze is definitely beginning to pick up now as they come into the final turns and the great flag goes down. Wayland Junior gets a good start in the first position. Folding gets parked by the 391 car who makes a slow start. But it's, it's Wayman Junior in a good lead now. Folding sticks it in there and gets sideways. Oh, and Folding's completely lost it there. Sends Paddy in defensewards. We've got another couple of cars off there. 229 and 34. But it's 515 in the lead now from 391. 21. 202s, 260 and 77. They're causing a bit of a problem down here. These three cars, they're completely hooked up, but they might just have to uh, yellow flag the race here. And Folding has gone out again down there with Frankie Women, Frankie Women Senior. Looks like Folding will be going to Hensford via the uh, consolation semi. But it's these two in front now. It could be a good race. Could be a good race now between these two. Folding looks as to have overcooked his engine. It's close now at the front. Will Andy Smith give Wayman Junior a big stunk? Let's just hope he does, because we won't mind a good result here for this semi-final. It's very close for these first two now. It looks like it's Richard Mason in third position. We've got cars piling in. They're definitely going to have to a red flag this race now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yellow flag in it now. They've got to get these guys out of the way. The total track blockage down here. Danny Clark is completely beached on the uh, on the curbs there. This 
Lewis Halls came from pitfall in spinning and on the first lap because these cars to avoid him. Looking at the uh, Wilma car, it looks very snap much of a space to look through, doesn't it? And the race is going to be restarted, which is much to the delight of a lot of fans and much to the hatred of many others. Wilma Junior and Andy Smith didn't look too happy as he put their cars up and uh, took their positions back up at the start of the grid. Front of caption now as mechanics come flying out to tend the cars. Excellent news off Peter Folding. No doubt that guy when he gets going he'll stick the bumper in with consummate ease. Which is very good because we didn't want to come see a procession, we wanted to come see stock car racing, contact stock car racing. If I wanted to come see non stock contact racing, I would have come to watch hot rods, but I don't like hot rods. So there you go. These guys down here causing a problem. Which I'll stand from folding going off in the first place. So to catch you now, mechanics tending the cars, getting them raised really. So, a few minutes wait now until the start of the restart of this. Started the uh, semi-final race. Holding now is holding back. The track is completely dry. What perfect conditions we've got now for some absolutely awesome racing here now. Holding, holding back. Will he go for a big slam into the back of the women junior bumper? Bill McGowan is a casualty there, pulls off. So coming on to the third and final turns in this parade lap. The green flag is just about to go down now. Ooh, it looks like we're heading for some storming racing. Folding, hanging back as well as Mark Gilbank who's doing the same thing. Will they get the run on these two cars coming to this? first turn. Looks like it's going to take them on for another rolling lap. So two rolling laps here now. Very ominous now for this first turn. So, pace begins to slide the pick up now. Well, we'll be in for an absolutely classic semi final. It has all the ingredients as the green flag goes down. Women Junior gets an absolutely slat, storming start as they pull away from the 33 car. How is it to get cars gone off into this first corner? No, oh, they seem to be all the way for three. We've got cars knocked down the bottom end there. They all get missed, oh. We've got one over. Danny Clark has rolled over now. It's Danny Clark has rolled over. 
So I've got to start going for another uh, stoppage. Danny Clark rolls over there on the third oh, and fourth turn. Should have gone up that end tunnel. Should have gone up that end tunnel. So, <laughs> more yellows come out as Danny Clark rolls down the bottom corner, third and fourth turns. Goes over, th I think it was in front of the 345 Gary Carl car. He's out of the car, we're going to roll it over. There we go. Really doing it there in front. Peter falling in, hanging back. Doesn't want to get involved by the looks of it. An ominous car behind him though, he's a very quick car of Ian Platts. And he's not afraid to use his bumper. He's got his car back on his wheels, it looks like he's going to take the restart, but the flag man has got the black flag out. There's Teddy Foster there, X414. X getting stepped into the uh, air cliff fence by Peter Folding in 1989. So, one more car to remove from down there now. How is it? No, there's a couple of cars down there, looks like bad eaves. So, oh, shall we? So, cars get away now for the third restart after Danny Clark has rolled his car. Danny Clark is taking the uh, restart. I'm not sure if you can do that. If you cause a race stoppage, you are disqualified. I am kindly informed by my partner here, Mr. Dillard. So, these two guys here, we'll find it like these to sort the race out between themselves. And when it comes to the final turn, he picks up the pieces. The wind is getting up now. It's so windy I can hardly hear myself squeak. And the green flag goes down now. That was a stupid green flag there. It caught everybody by surprise. What an absolutely ridiculous green flag situation that was. Pete Falling does not look very happy there. He's going to cause some havoc here now. It's Peter Falling who goes a lap down. That was an absolutely ridiculous, it caught everybody by surprise, that green flag there. So, Raymond Jr and Andy Smith are absolutely miles in the lead. What an absolute joke this is. <laughs> Folding is already a lap down. What time that was for Peter Folding. So it's Woman Journey in the lead from 391, 77 Ian Platts, 202 and uh, 250. What a fiasco this has been. having an absolutely boring procession now as Wayman Jr is in front of the 391 car who oh, no, does not seem to be catching him at all Falling seems to be having handling problems with his motor doesn't seem to be turning around the corner as well at all 137 Andy Jacklin there pulls off to the side 
We've got two cars off there, that's uh, two, 21 and 202. That's the third place guy. But it's still a women journey in the lead from 391. Five on five, uh, Frankie Women Junior. Driving land is always on rails. It seemed like the only two guys that were ready for that green flag were the first two leaders. That was uh, Women and Smith. Mark Gilbank pulls his car off with a skew with front wheel there. We've got one car off there, looks like uh, the Simon Sargent car and Dave McCrudden. But it's still Women Junior now from uh, 391. Quite sure on who third place is. It could be uh, Ian Platts, but if it is, he's nearly all going to be up. Oh. Chris Brock's up there, punches his tyres. He comes down the corner. women junior we're not quite at the halfway stage yet so anything could happen in this race but these guys have got a massive jump on everybody else I don't think it's gonna be long before they start lapping the lapping the field Seems to be slightly catching the three, the two 515 car, but he does seem to be slightly held up by the uh, 260's car, who we'll puts the 255 car away into the fence behind the Richard Mason car. Wayman Junior though now has got a slight, uh, slight big lead over the fight of the 391 car. Falling is catching him, but remember he is probably a lap down here. Yes, because the starter is not flagging Peter Folding, so he cannot be on the little lap. It bodes well for Frankie Women Jr. in the World Final. If he starts in the front row, I don't think anybody's going to be able to catch him. Where is Peter Falling? Peter Falling though, he's absolutely flying through the field. His car seems to be handling perfectly now. It must be. Well, that's a... So, Wehrman has won a semi-final. Pass into a very short race there. Wehrman from Smith. It could be, I'm not sure, it could be 260 day, but it's been in third, and I'm not quite sure. Very disappointing semi final there. I think there might be controversy over the waving of the green flag there. Took everybody by surprise. I'm not quite sure on who finished third. Yeah, the first two place guys there. Yeah, yeah, very boring. You were going to win anyway. I don't think anybody else knows who finished third. So, Keith Chambers there. Chambers, the third place guy. 
quite sure what the other positions will be. I don't think we'll be able to hear them anyway.